today we talk about why you need an audience if you sell physical products, um, why you need some sort of following and how easy it makes it if you have an audience that you can monetize your products with. So let's um, dig in because most people do it horribly wrong. Uh, online. Most people that I see online are not doing a good job with that. Actually, most people are doing a horrible job with that. I see so many influencers or people that have a big audience. And if you have 200,000 followers, how do you not make a million dollars a year? That puzzles me because um, in this video above here, I explain you how we did $5,000 in 30 days with only 200 subscribers. So it's all about the, the, the right system that you have a place. It's all about having the right strategy to monetize it because most people do it wrong. And if you learn uh, the wrong strategy, then you will suffer from that as well. So this video is for you even if you don't have an audience yet. It's just going to show you the ways that you can use an audience to sell your products. If you have no budget, if you have no money for ads, awesome. This is the way to go because an audience is gold. Um, if you can create an audience and get their email addresses, you will never go broke. If you do a horrible job to market to your email list, you're going to do $1 a month per person on your list. So that is $1 per person per month. If you have 10,000 people on an email list and you do a very bad job with marketing, you're doing $10,000 a month. That's 120 grand a year. Well, I think that's pretty good to start with, right? But most people, how they go out with the content, I don't even know why everyone is doing that. So uh, let's let's set some things uh, straight. you get your content out to, to sell your physical products with. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure to subscribe to this channel because we do a lot of uh, tutorials on that, how you go through the whole process from start to finish. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. To start this off, there are two kinds of audiences, right? Or two kinds of people that build audiences. The very first kind of person wants to be famous, wants to just have as many people following or liking or um, have comments or, or do an interaction with them. I just want to monetize the volume. So they think, okay, if I have more than whatever, I have, if I have a few thousand subscribers or I can grow this to 10,000 or 200,000, then YouTube will pay me money for, for all those views and all of those clicks. And I can offer affiliate products. So I can send a uh, products via my Amazon affiliate link to Amazon and then Amazon will pay me a commission if someone buys, right? But mainly these people think about the way of there's no separation of who they're talking to. There's just the number that's important, the numbers of clicks, the numbers of comments, the numbers of views. And if you value that kind of crap, then you have a problem because that is not what makes you the money. The money is not in, in those numbers unless you're Kardashian, unless you're Rihanna. Like there's no way that this is valuable to you, that this pays out money to you, okay? Uh, or enough money to, to get by or to justify the, the work that you put into the content. Now, let's talk about the second person um, that I see building audiences. And that is the person that already has an offering that's selling courses, for example, or that's selling digital products, or physical products, or a service. That person creating a content, creating an, an, an audience, creating a channel that can be YouTube, podcast, uh, social media, TikTok, that can be on any of those channels, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, they know that you need to have an audience so that you can monetize that audience with your offerings. So they know that, hey, if I have the offer and I want people to see it, I need to create attention in the marketplace. This is the second kind of person. And this is the person that I see the least and that is a person that can actually make it. The person that says, okay, I'm going to go and I'm just going to go as many views as possible. Well, that's not, that's not going to happen because if you just go for the numbers and you say, okay, I want to have as many people as possible. These might not be the right people with, with money in their pockets. If you are marketing, if you are attracting 12 year old kids, they're not going to put out their credit cards and give you money because they don't have a credit card. They don't have a PayPal account. They can't they can't even give you money. Before you go there and if you're a content creator, the one thing that you should be aware of is that money is a good thing. Money is not evil. Money doesn't hurt any, anyone. Capitalism is a good thing. But I have a very deep internal belief because that's something that I learned from experience is that 
if I offer everything for free, I have free offers, you know, but if I offer everything for free, then there's no value associated with it. For example, you look at a Louis Vuitton bag, your, your value that you associate with that is much, much higher than a bag from Walmart. Yet the production costs are just slightly, slightly higher, but you have higher perceived value. So the person that buys a Louis Vuitton bag values it, that don't, don't just throw it in the corner, right? Puts it on a nice place on a shelf. The Walmart bag, you just toss in the corner and you, you forget about it. Same functions, same things. And it's the same way with your offerings. If you don't charge your, your, your viewers, if you don't charge your audience, if you don't have anything to offer that you can monetize on, the person that will get your offer, that will get your awesome free thing, will not associate value with that. So then it doesn't become as important. So the person doesn't follow through with your training. The person doesn't buy your product. The person doesn't enroll into your free course because they think the value isn't there. And even if they enroll, they're not going to pull through because they think it's not that important. They didn't even pay for it. It doesn't even like it's free. There's no value attached to that. So my firm belief is that actually, if you don't monetize your audience, if you don't have offers that you charge people for, you're doing a disservice to your audience. If the person doesn't associate value with it and doesn't associate with it that it's important and doesn't pull through, then that person will not get a result. Whether you, you offer a service or a digital course or digital product or a physical product, you want the person to have a certain result and a certain outcome, right? Because you want to help the person achieve their goal. But if you don't charge them, they will never achieve their goal. And then it's your fault because you didn't monetize them. If, th if that makes sense. I know you could say, well, Niels, of course you say that you want to sell your shit, right? I firmly believe that. And think about it. When was the last time you got something for free? How much did you value that? And when was the last time you bought something? How, how much did you value that? Just, just make your own comparison here. Sometimes it's really confusing how some people have a following of 200,000 people and they are not making a million dollar a year. If that's you, send me an email, let's let's fix that, but how do you not make a million dollar a year on that? That is crazy, because I just posted up a video here, how we make five grand from 200 subscribers. That's not 200,000, it's 200. So there are so many ways that you can monetize your audience. And if you have 200,000 people, the only thing that you do is take on brand deals or send people over to Amazon for affiliate commission. That's not going to cut it. Okay. There are two main problems with that. The one main problem is if you don't send people to your own offerings or to your own free things is that you don't own the customer. If you don't own the customer, if you send a customer to, to, to Amazon to buy something and then Amazon pays your commission, you don't know that customer. You don't own the customer. You have one contact with the customer. They spend money on something that obviously you get a little bit of a profit from. But then the customer is gone. The big money here is in the follow up. First time we contact a person, we send out uh, advertisements, right? We spend a thousand dollar. The first point of contact for the people that come through that thousand dollar is eight hundred dollar income. The second point of contact, meaning the follow up, is more than four thousand dollar that is coming in as income for us. So if you don't have that follow up, you're missing out on huge money. You're missing out on most of your sales. Plus, and what's even more important, and that's the second thing that you're missing out on is the control. What do you do if your channel gets shut down? What do you do if for whatever reason the YouTube algorithm decides that your channel isn't following guidelines or that your Instagram page isn't following guidelines or that Facebook page shouldn't be shouldn't be up and running? And so all of your views and all of your, your following disappears overnight, right? Because then then you're lost, then you don't have it anymore. If you now have an audience or if you're building an audience and you monetize that audience, then all the people that you monetize, they get on your list. You own that customer. You are in control of your audience. You control your audience. What that means is that you can sell to your audience again and again and again. I'm not saying be spammy and, and send them an email every day with buy my shit, buy my shit, buy my shit. What I'm saying is that you can continue to give these people value because if you have those people on email list, you can also send them when you do a new video, you send out an email broadcast and you boost your views and you boost your algorithm in YouTube so that, for example, YouTube can get you out there more and promote your videos more because you already bring these external people from your email list to YouTube. But more importantly is that these people stay with you. You know, you deliver content to them continuously. You follow up with them in email and then you keep monetizing you, the people and you keep monetizing your audience. Like I say, it's a good thing to do that. It's not something where you're all greedy and you just want to squeeze every cent out of it. That's not going to work, right? But the real way, the only way 
to actually make money from your audience is to send them to your offers. You control 100% of the profits if you do that, by the way. You're not only getting a tiny little commission, but you have your own offerings. So one of the things that you can just start with is you collect the email addresses on a landing page. You give away something for free to just get as many people in the door as possible, as many people on your list as possible. In that moment when you collected that email address, if you're smart, you make an offer already. You say, hey, I have this product. You don't even need to own the product. It can be a product that you drop ship. It can be a digital product. It can be a physical product. It can be a course. It can be a service from someone else. You just need to monetize that customer as quick as possible because now they're hot. Then in the follow-up, you continue to offer value and you continue to offer your own products or now is the right time for affiliate products because now you already control the customer. So there's nothing wrong to send them to other affiliate offers that you do. But please, please, please don't just rely on the affiliate income from, from your audience. Don't rely on the channels that you own. You have to build your own business. You have to build your own, you have to own the customer and you have to own the products or you have to control the sales process. If you are not in control in either the product, if you're not in control about the platform, or if you're not in control of the audience, then this can be a disaster. Overnight, if someone flicks a switch, you can be out of business. So if you're starting out in dropshipping, for example, you put no money down, you put the time in and you create a TikTok following, an Instagram following, a YouTube following. Well, then you're safe because now you can grow that audience and you can extract the audience from that platform so that you can own it with the email addresses. You can get those people in a Facebook group, get them on another channel, and then continue to monetize these people without money down, without any work that you have to put in to promote someone else's things. You promote your own products to your own channel. So you're in full control over the whole system from start to finish. So if you want to learn how to build out a platform like that, if you want to build out a system like that, like I say, it doesn't have to be your own content. You know, it can be that you com compile content from someone else. That for example, if you sell physical products, that you compile some different gadgets that you put up on your channel or that you that you put up on your you know Instagram page or on your TikTok. You know all of these things, like the 10 best gadgets, the 10 best household items, the 10 best pet items, the 10 best whatever. You just compile those videos for your market, for your niche, and then you have people that are interested in those products and then you can monetize those people. So you have an exact customer target, you have an exact audience, and not just random people that you get in for clicks and likes and comments, right? You have to make sure the person that you're that you're attracting with your content is the person that could potentially be the customer or the buyer for your product. If you want to learn more about that, about the system, A, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we're going to lay down the whole system. We're going to create the whole system here on the channel so that you can watch that for free. And B, uh, contact me an email because we have two things that we offer here. One is a group coaching where we go through the whole system and help you build that out or a one-on-one -on -one coaching where I help you personally to build out the whole system, to create an audience, to create a funnel, to create um, the offerings, to create basically everything you need to monetize people, to start earning money. Especially now in the crisis, you need to get out of your comfort zone and you need to start creating things that you wouldn't have done before so that you can, that you can earn income in case you get laid off or it, just because now you can't go to work already or because money is money is tight or uh, just everything is uncertain. So why not go in now and start building up your own channel, your own following, your own products and market them without wasting money in advertisement. Like I say, if that interests you, just shoot me an email. Uh, I get on the phone with you and I tell you all about the options that we can do and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell because that way YouTube will notify you when the next videos come out about these topics. I talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.